The story began with the posting of several videos on the YouTube channel Bungangara TV. These videos falsely depicted Pangilinan as an abusive husband and father, making baseless claims about his personal life, an unjust portrayal that sparked controversy and concern. In response, Pangilinan took decisive action. He filed cyber libel charges against the individual who runs the YouTube channel. The charges were filed under the revised Penal Code and the Cybercrime Prevention Act. Pangilinan sought a penalty one degree higher for offenses under the latter, demonstrating the severity of his stance against such harmful online behavior. But the story didn't stop there. Pangilinan extended his legal actions to include Google and YouTube Philippines, accusing them of aiding and abetting the commission of cybercrime. This move highlights how entities that provide platforms for such content can also be held accountable for the harm they may indirectly cause. The Liberal Party stood firmly behind Pangilinan, emphasizing the importance of responsible expression in the current political climate. They advocated for a healthy space for open discussion, free from falsehoods and malicious attacks, supporting a vision for a more respectful and truthful online community. This story serves as a stark reminder of the power of our words and actions, even in the virtual world. It underscores the importance of responsible online expression and the potential consequences of misusing digital platforms. Online defamation doesn't just harm the individuals targeted, but it also pollutes the digital landscape, turning platforms designed for connection and conversation into arenas of misinformation and conflict. In conclusion, as we navigate the complexities of the digital age, stories like that of Kiko Pangilinan remind us to be mindful of how we engage with others online. It's a call to action for all of us to uphold the values of respect and truth in our online interactions, and a stern warning to those who might misuse the power of the digital sphere.